And Tony, who would be these rad pads for? Wow, the way you just worded that question was fantastic. Thank you for asking such a brilliant question. Who they, are these rad pads for? They're actually who are for, these rad pads for? They're for very intelligent people that value their time because rad pads can be built so quickly and efficiently that it's like almost just a fraction of the time it would take you to build a traditional methoded house. I messed that up, mm. but I think it'll be all right. So for like intelligent people. Yeah, if you're if you're not a or stupid you're fucking idiot. <laughs> That's another way to put this it. This is for you. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. So we'll start one more time. Moronic and idiotic, which is worse? I think idiot is what we're going for. If you're not a stupid fucking idiot, you're not a rat. Idiotic person. It's getting a little wrong. But idiotic what? Just idiot. Good morning, Gabriel. Good morning, Tony. I'm going to ask you to ask me a few questions. Really? <laughs> yes, I am. I will. Would you mind asking me what RadPad is, Tony? Tony, what is RadPad? Always got to do it your own way, <laughs> don't you, Gabriel? RadPad is a system for building modular homes utilizing readily available materials right here in Central America, specifically Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Ah, my next question yeah. is who might these RadPads be for, Tony? Tony, who would be these rad pads for? Borderline genius question. Thank you for asking. These rad pads are for people who value their time. Rad pads, since we use a system for building, we can build modularly and have you set up with a house in a fraction of the time it would take if you were using traditional building methods. So if you're not a stupid fucking idiot... Wow! I'm asking the fucking questions around here, that Gabriel. Was, that was not a question, it was a statement. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Then Rad Pad is well, for you. Finish. <laughs> okay. All right, Gabriel, since you are the building director, why don't you explain to us why you use a system for building rather than relying on skilled laborers? Hmm. We have designed a cutting jig that cuts accurately every time. No the mistake allowed. Accu cutter? An accu cutter. Nice it builds wall units with equal opening sizes. All the spacing is the same. Yeah. Fantastic. What does that mean? If all the spacings are the same and the wall panels... Consistency fit? is efficiency. Ooh, I like that. They rhyme to those words. That's partially why I like them so much. What could somebody purchase a rad pad for? How much money... How much could somebody purchase a rad pad for? I believe somebody could buy a rad pad for just under $40,000. How much could somebody... Now, what's the, the question? It has to be asked properly. The question does have to be asked properly. Yeah. Um, uh, how Quanto cuesta uno rad pad, senor? Um, the question is, how much does it cost? That's so. it. That's what everybody's going to be asking. Say, Tony, everybody's going to be asking, so how much does this thing cost? Yeah. How much does it cost? What's it? How much does a rad pad cost? A rad pad costs for a two-bedroom, so that's four meter by ten meter and that can be configured as a two bedroom or a single bedroom with a large living space. So if you choose a four by 10, you can have that between 35,000 and $40,000. Tony, could you tell us what is a rad pad? No. No. <laughs> May Jesus help us. Absolutely. He helps us every day, all the time. Quite often, he's right behind us. It's always above. Yep. Mm -hmm. We got pretty freaking far today, so we spent most of the time working on the 3D model of the rad pad. This is the full one. Um, so we had to do different uh, a decking system. So this is a cement deck that can go on uh, different grades of land. So we spent most of our time on that. We're gonna have our working drawings done tomorrow. And then we'll also, I'll be able to put these into um, uh, some AI program and get some really cool looking renders. But tomorrow we'll have all the working drawings ready for building permits and uh, sharing with people who have been asking for them. So it was a great day today. One more day at this again tomorrow.